The group consisting of mainly children took their belongings and demanded that they be released from the center to go home after the media briefing by the Deputy Minister of Former Affairs Immigration, Safety and Security Lucia Vetboy and a team of other officials. Vetboy says the cabinet has approved $2.4 million for the upgrading of the center and their upkeep. Initially, there were 200. However, 120 have successfully been repatriated while seven Namibian children were also sent back to their families. After a heated confrontation, the police and security guards were forced to lock the center's gate. What if one of us dies here? Where will he or she be buried? We want to go home now and don't want to be kept here any longer. And this thing of saying we must wait for logistics or transport and so forth, we don't want it. We want to walk out of this country like we walked in ourselves using the Santa Clara border post. They took all our sale items and we have no means of survival. And we are now forced to be sitting idle in this place. Our families are waiting for us to send them money. While we are here, we want to leave this country now and go help our families and we are not coming back here again. Deputy Minister Vedboy says Namibia is ready to release the children and their guardians at any given time should the Angolan government indicate readiness to receive them. We are working together with the Angolan government, especially uh, through the embassy. To, uh, to to work out and to to uh, and to get a way to bring them back and reintegrate them with their families. So this is just a temporary arrangement. The children will be housed at the center for a period of one month, and they receive three meals daily, in addition to other basic necessities. Ndapanda Shuya, NBC News. Und